Jojo Siwa is letting everyone know that she is not for kids anymore. The bows are gone and she is about to turn things up content wise. It seems like Jojo is making the transition from making music for kids to making them for adults and she is going all out to try and make this a banger. It feels kind of like she's trying to have her Disney gone bad girl era right now in a way like she's trying to have this wrecking ball moment or something but for some reason people are commenting finding things a little bit more cringe than bad girl or child star gone bad girl. Typically, when we see a child star switch things up, the backlash is crazy. I mean, recently, Olivia Rodrigo is getting backlash at her concert, which I find ridiculous. If you have listened to the lyrics of her song, then I don't know why you would be surprised that her concert is not giving Disney girl. I mean, not that she's doing anything crazy at her show, as I feel like it's equivalent to a VMAs type of performance, something that they would show on TV. Like, nothing is too raunchy or crazy, but some people were complaining. They were saying that this is not the Disney Olivia, but she's a grown woman. She's an adult, so she could do what she wants. But it does seem that whenever there is a child star that is a little bit more adult, people have things to say. And honestly, I think Jojo is kind of past all of the backlash that she would get for this, mostly because she already experienced that and it's why this new era doesn't seem to be as shocking for people. I think when JoJo came out in 2021, that was the start of her shifting her content. I mean, after that, she slowly started to not wear the bow anymore, and she posted with her girlfriend that she had, and was really public with her other relationship, and just started to open up about intimate details. I mean, when she was on Colleen's sister's podcast two years ago, they were talking about hookups, positions, and it was certainly not giving the PG for kids JoJo that everybody knew. So in a way, this child star to adulthood era JoJo is trying to formulate for herself, I feel like it already happened in a way, but she is really trying to do it with a bang right now. She is issuing her last warnings to everyone, letting them know, do not let your kids see what I'm about to put out. After posting a series of Instagrams, teasing what she has coming, she posted this actual warning onto her feed that says the following content is not made for children and may be disturbing or offensive to some viewers, may contain sexual themes, violence, strong language, traumatic scenarios, and flashing lights. Viewer discretion is advised. On TikTok, she hinted this new era with a post that said, me because it's officially my last day being a child star. She's also been teasing all these sayings in the caption of her Instagram, all very cryptic. This one says, I should have known better. This one says, I didn't think twice what it would do. This one reads, thou shall not lie. Thou shall not cheat. Thou shall not get caught. And then there's some blanks. She's also been changing her Instagram bio a lot. And right now it says, I was a bad girl. It's certainly all music based. She's talked about the fact that she is putting out new music and you can pre-save what she is about to release on Apple and Spotify as her website is linking to that right now. But what she's about to put out that's so shocking is the real question. Like, will it be the lyrics, the music video? I mean, it seems to be the music video, but there also looks to be some sort of behind the scenes documentary style video that she's also been teasing. I worked out, I hit the water like that. Oh, that's She's gonna fall in. <laughs> She talked more about this adult era in a clip that she posted to TikTok that seemed to be on the set of what she's shooting right now. A new era of life, we're becoming an adult. <laughs> How many kids are gonna pop out today? I'm definitely working on two. And on the Jennifer Hudson show, she talked more about how this isn't for kids and is making note that there are others before her who have done something very similar to her in that they are going from child star to this adult version. Jojo, you coming out with some new music. What? Yes. Uh, actually, yesterday I gave the heads up like, hey, it's not for kids anymore. I'll let them know. I think there's a reason why people who have come before me have had this moment. Mm -hmm. Take with that what you will, what you'll assume. And I'm really excited to have this moment. It's something I've been looking forward to for three years, four years now, really like heavily. Jojo seems more than ready to officially break free from the past as she says this is something that she's been looking forward to for years. She really found success in catering towards kids, so I honestly wonder how this chapter is about to be for her and how scandalous she's about to be because she surely is hinting this is about to be something more than we've ever seen before from her, a new side, 
So it's got to be crazy, right? Like the way that she's teasing it, it sounds pretty crazy. But she sat down in a long TikTok to talk about how she's feeling about the whole thing and the fact that she just wants to put it all out there already, acknowledging that people have been like, Jojo, come on, like you're teasing so much, like I'm kind of annoyed. Just put it out there. Just let us know what's going on. Dragging things out a bit with all these teasers. So she was acknowledging that. Recently, I have been teasing my little heart out on the internet and uh, it has been so fun. It's been such a journey. It's been so hard. As much as I'm seeing everyone online be like, stop teasing, stop teasing, like just show us whatever you're doing. Imagine how hard it is to know what I'm doing and not share. It's been torturous, but the best type of torturous. It's been so good. I am truly so excited for everyone to see what's happening right now. She talked about how she actually is trying to have a Miley bangers moment and that this all for her is actually becoming an artist and it's something that she's wanted to do for a long time which i do think makes a lot of sense in the fact that she doesn't want to be jojo from nickelodeon or jojo from dance moms or jojo with the bows she wants people to say oh that's jojo the one with the song that goes like da 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 it's been so cool to watch people compare it to uh miley's bangers moment um because for me, that's exactly what this is. And uh, so to see other people kind of being like, oh, you're you're becoming an adult. You're becoming a musician. You're becoming an artist is, I don't know. It's, 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 it's like such a, such a gratifying, is that the right word? Experience, such a, such a feeling. I don't know. It just feels like all my work and everything that I put into this specific project in this specific like moment of my life in this pivotal period has like really worked. And despite this being a really big time for Jojo with a lot of eyes on her and probably a time where she's getting a lot of press just because she has a project coming out and it's a new era, she isn't shying away from showing off who she's friends with, even if they're controversial. She doesn't seem to care what people think or wonder about her, even though most times when stars seem to be the most cautious about trying to avoid scandals or getting called out or anything like that is when they're about to announce something big. But Jojo, she's like, I don't care if I'm about to drop this big announcement. There's a lot of eyes on me right now. I'm still going to show off my scandalous friendships. And that she did because the other night she posted this picture with her good old pal, James Charles, solidifying once again that she does not care what people have to say. And the timing of Jojo doing all of this is probably the most interesting as her and her mom were recently exposed in the Rolling Stone after a mom and daughter who were part of Jojo's Peacock show, Siwa's Day dance pop revolution spoke out against them for how they were treated not only on the show but afterwards as part of jojo and her mom's ex omg pop girl group the story has gone unaddressed by jojo and her mother as the only statements that have come out have been from their lawyer and i don't think that either of them will be addressing this in any sort of interview or video on their own it seems like this is something that they wanted to move past very quickly and just go straight into this brand new era for jojo people also have and loved some of the dance moms shade that's been happening with Jojo recently where she was calling out some of the girls who didn't attend the dance moms reunion insinuating that if they weren't there it was as if they weren't appreciative of what the show did for them which I don't think them not attending a reunion for a show that they said was traumatic means they aren't grateful for the opportunities the show ended up bringing them I think it's understandable for someone who had a bad experience to not want to go back to that place. Like, why would they want to see the producers again after having opened up about all the stuff those producers did and how they were edited? And so for this reason, JoJo has been getting a lot of heat for her comments and the fact that it seemed she was upset at the girls who didn't attend the reunion, which are Maddie, Nia, and Kenzie. Them not being here is kind of like, let me erase my past, pretend it never happened, shove it down the drain, when it's like, that's why you are who you are. So JoJo has been getting some heat for what she had said here and and I think the seemingly lack of empathy is what people have had the hardest time sitting with when it comes to Jojo. And it just leads a lot of people to not know how to feel about her. The opinions are very mixed at the moment. 
But I guess we'll have to see what this new era brings for her. She seems to be more than ready to put it all out there on the line and try out this new version of her. I want to know what you guys think about this new JoJo though and the fact that she is teasing this new era. How do you guys think it's going to go for her? What do you think she's actually going to release? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.